Hello, everybody. Welcome back to This Week at MBE. It is President's Day weekend, so we'll just fly through here to some, show you so some of the things that are happening. So we have, these are in line to be valve job. So this is a solid casting. We use John at CID's solid casting. So not dry decked. This has no water in it. And then, uh, so this is not a billet head, even though from this angle, it looks like a billet head. Um, this set happens to have the lightning program run through it. All the other hat washers. So these hat washers won't gall, gall. They are harder than the nut. Impossible for these to gall. It's just trying to do all the little things that make a difference. We have 32 fasteners holding the rocker bar on in this. You can see all the lightning on the top side too, around the ports and everything. And then so they're in line to be valve jobs. So the guides are honed. So the next thing you do is come over here on the epoch. And you can see this one's a little bit different on the intake flange. That's because this has a raised cam. Um, some of the things that are, the reason why this is like this is because when they raise the cam up so high, um, sometimes the block manufacturers are forgetting that we have to turn, that they have to, they have to turn the lifters four or five degrees to clear the intake flange. So I think they're, they're starting to get wind of this, so they are making adjustments to it, but that's why this has a completely different push rod program in it. So we go and put that, that cam location, the lifter location and everything, and then we can, we can connect the push rods with the rockers, and that way we can put push rod in it. So we know right from the CAD what to do there. So then let's come over here. We have A460s right here. So these have been angle milled. Okay, so basically you take more material off this side than, in, than here. One degree is typically about zero to 100 from here to here. So we angle mill 100 thousandths. What that does, it makes the chamber much, much smaller. So if you're like, uh, for, the truck, for the truck pull guys that have to run the 485 and the 500 inch class, this way we can get the chamber smaller so you don't have to run this huge dome in the piston because a huge dome takes away power. It's less, tra it's less flame travel. So what we do now, so they've been angle milled over on the machine over here. Now we have to make the bolt holes because everything went like this. So now we have to make the bolt holes so they'll go onto the engine. So we do all of that here. So Dave, will, Dave Selvig does all of that for us. And then uh, from, then we go on to the other machine. And then what we do is we correct the intake flange because now this is at a different angle to this. So the intake manifold is not gonna fit. So what we do is we correct the intake flange. So we'll take more off material out of this. So everything, everything is at 90 degrees again. So everything fits. So instead of doing the manifold, you do the head. That way, if you change manifolds, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that to the manifold again. So um, angle milling is a process. There's a lot of there's a lot of time, a lot of labor in it, but we do it all the time. And then we'll come over here. We have a repair. So this is a set of Northeast Modifieds. They look ragged, but when we're finished, they won't be ragged. It's actually no big deal. So all we have. We weld the chamber up. First, first we pull the seats out of it. We put, we put all the seats in it. We'll probably end up putting two new guides in this. We'll put the cylinder head back on the CNC machine and run the chamber. Even though these have been decked a bunch, we can handle all of that. We keep notes in all of this, so they'll go back and then they'll be perfect. And when this set of heads is finished, they're not gonna look like a used set of heads. They're gonna look new because this will end up being decked. They'll be all freshly valve jobbed, copper beryllium seats, A25 material, not brass. Brass, brass is cheap. It's cheap for a reason. It's shit. So over here, we got A460s over here. So we have two sets. Man, we bought a bunch of these castings. Um, we waited for them for about eight or nine months, but uh, trick flow came through, no big deal. But we only have two sets of these left. So we got this set's been valve jobbed right here. That set's finished. So those are done. Just needs final clean, things like that. And then uh, this set just needs to be valve jobbed. So we ran a, we ran a bunch of these over a, over a week and a half's time. So, and then we'll come down here.
All right, so here we have a used one of our MBE top fuel heads, and then this is a new, this is a this is a new a new head that we pull out of a box that we did probably like six years ago. So we were just readdressing this, looking at it. This head won a lot of championships and set a lot of records. Um, it was it was very successful, and we really enjoyed that. So and uh, who knows, maybe we'll be doing more of that. We've got that here. And then we got our billet head here, so more billet. You got billet hemis over here, eye candy. You got the billet small blocks here, so more eye candy. Billet valve covers, dovetail o ring, so the o ring will not come out. You can go like this as hard as you want, it will not come out. So we like, oh, we would rather o ring the valve cover than o ring this. This is heavy, this can get dinged. This this would be much much less likely to hurt the valve cover than to hurt the cylinder head. And then it goes on there, and it's not a 409, but the reason why we did that is we could take all the weight out of the cylinder head. Um, so typically, uh, this billet cylinder head goes out at 35 pounds, um, comparing to others that are in the 47-pound range. So if it's 12 pounds, it's 24 pounds off the car. Again, this is set up for a Jessel system. The TND has 32 fasteners. The Jessel has 25. Regardless, plenty of fasteners, half-inch push rods, all the little things, drain backs for the oil. We got, we got drain backs all the way down here, so you don't have you don't have to worry about all of that. We try to look at everything for sure. And then uh, we have some things that we're finishing up in here. So we have a new set of Northeast modified heads right here. This customer wants to run stainless valves, so this is a copper beryllium seat and a ductile iron exhaust. And then we have the new set of 20s that we're doing. So, but just take a, so this is for a dirt motor and you can look at the port, si you can look at the port sizes. So oval port for dirt. Actually, no, that is a 2420 head, my bad. This is the 2420 version that we do. So we use, we use these on a lot of boat applications. Sorry about that. So 2420 intake valve, inch 800 exhaust. And then this is the new 20 degree, that's an 18, this is a 20. Um, so larger ports, higher RPM, um, and different, different valve locations and everything. But this has a 2500 valve and an inch 830. What's interesting what we do here, it's our own casting, but look, everything we do is different. So the valve location on the intake and the exhaust is completely different because we want to take advantage of it. If this has a 2500 valve in it, then we have to make room for it. This has a 2420, we can actually move the intake valve over and move the exhaust valve over. All to make performance differences instead of just using the same guide location for everything. Sure, that is easy and makes so the rocker systems are, are all the same, but we want, we're not here to do it easy. We're here to make power and try and make a difference. That's, that's the only way we will stay in business. So, and of course, the conventional head, 18 fasteners holding the rocker bar on. So a serious piece, one piece bar. We've seen, I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of videos on that. And then uh, I think that's about it, Mr. Biggs. But thank you for joining us, everybody. Have a great night or great morning, depending on what it is. Thank you.